What is Data Binding API? In the end, Data Binding API is very similar to Button Knife because it's about simplifying view code. Data Binding API works more with the layout XML files. Well, it just gives the more benefit there because you can pass the your variables from your code into the layout itself and to will figure out automatically what should go where without you calling set text or attaching add-on click listeners. So here you can see that this layout file is a bit different. It starts with the layout root attribute and then it has submember called data which specifies what kind of variables and what types are they for this view. And what's interesting is that these text views that we can see here at the bottom they have text defined with this at attribute user dot first name and then user dot last name and the view will figure out automatically that it needs to take this variable from the user object and it will be entered automatically without you calling set text. So basically in the end it's just a neat way to simplify passing variables and displaying that pass data to your user interface. Setting up data binding dependencies. As you'll quickly see, to get started with data binding API, it's really easy. You just need to go to build.gradle file in your app directory, find Android section and add these three lines. Data binding, enabled, true, and that's it. You're good to go. Let's just quickly take a look at the actual code. So here I have open build.gradle from module app. And there is the section Android, and we have this data binding enabled true, and you're good to go. Simple as that. And that's because data binding API is included by default in Android SDK, and it's being developed and supported by Google. Mapping variables to user interface elements. So in this video, we're going to take a look how we can map our model data to the view elements. So let's just get to the code. And for this purpose, we're going to use our summary fragment, which at the moment it's very simple. It has just this one text view that uses summary text from the portfolio list data class that we've used before. So let's just get back to the layout. And we can see that we have this data section which defines variables that this layout can expect and then it has the layout itself inside the layout we have this one text view which takes its text from data.summary text variable and to be able to use this layout format we just need to do a bit different initialization when working with data binding api so the initialization is going to be a bit different in the fragment and we have to use this data binding util class which is going to inflate the layout and it's going to do all the magic. So when we have that done, we have this binding class reference and then later when we call render method, we basically just pass this class as a variable to our binding and then the view interface is going to be a updated automatically. That's basically it. And in the next video, we're going to take a look at Rx Java, and it's a reactive API framework, and it's quite a big undertaking to understand it, so it's going to be interesting.